Effective immediately, we're going to put a scaled policy into place, and we're going to have a minimum uh, $70,000 pay rate for everyone that works here. It's going to go into effect over the next three years or so. My pay is set based on market rates and kind of what it would take to replace me. And because of this growing inequality as a CEO, that amount is really, really high. I make, uh, you know, crazy, I, my compensation is really high. And so I'm actually taking my salary down to the minimum salary as well until our profit goes back up to where it is before we made this policy change. You know, I think they were a little <laughs> stunned at first. Like, did he just say that? That was the CEO of Gravity Payments, Dan Price, announcing to his 120 employees that every one of them will soon be earning at least $70,000 a year and that he's slashing his own salary to help pay for it. Dan Price joins us now from New York. It's great to have you on. Sam Stein and Caddy Kay are back with us. We also have independent Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont with us who tweeted a note of congratulations to Dan Price. Very nice, Senator Sanders. We'll get to you in just a moment. But first, Dan Price, I think Sam Stein really crystallized it in the break. He had a question for you. Go ahead, Sam. What is it? It's what you were thinking. Say what you were thinking. Uh, no, saying. I don't want to say that. All right. All right Go Dan, ahead, are you Sam. Go ahead. Are you crazy? I can take it. Are you crazy? <laughs> no, no. It's very kind of you to do this to your employees. Um, what's the, actually, I'm curious, what has the reaction been in terms of people wanting to work for your company or applying to work for your company? Do you see an uptick in the applicants, essentially? You know, we've just been overwhelmed by emotion, to be honest with you. This has been a big thing. Um, I've been wanting to do something like this for a long time. It's been in my heart. When I started the company, the most I could afford to pay was $24,000 a year, no health care benefits. And, and some of those people are still with me. So I've been used to kind of feeling guilty and wishing I could do better, wishing I could be part of the solution to this inequality problem. And I was really excited to try to come up with something to at least try and make it work. So I might be crazy. You, you <laughs> might be. You just might be. Do you think this will uh, increase productivity, the quality of the product? Uh, that you, I mean, what is it that drove this beyond inequality? And also, because I would do... I, I always talk about this being a great, I would never want to run a company if the people who worked for me didn't live very well or yeah. didn't live, you know, in a way that was appropriate. And people would probably say back to me, Dan Price, you're a terrible manager. Yeah, you know, um, I think that's, I think what it's about here is we're trying to find a capitalist solution to a very large social problem that just keeps getting worse and worse. I mean, you look on the, at the statistics on inequality, and it just keeps getting worse. And in my own city of Seattle, it's getting less and less affordable for somebody to kind of make ends meet. And so we looked and we saw there's actually a study done in 2010 by Princeton that said around $70,000 or so, money makes a big difference to happiness and not having enough money can have an impact on emotional health and all those types of sure. things. And in my mind, when you actually solve that, people can just focus on their work. So I'm not looking for, you know, a carrot or a stick, but what I'm looking for is allowing people to unleash their passion and continue to serve our clients and not be distracted by money. So, uh, Senator Sanders, what did you think of this? I mean, is he a terrible manager? Or is he <laughs> I think what Dan has done is not only extraordinary for his own employees, I hope it sets an example uh, for companies all over this country. Look, corporate profits are at an all-time high, and yet today 99% of all new income is going to the top 1%, the top one-tenth of 1% owns more wealth than the bottom 90%. So this issue of income and wealth inequality is the major issue we face, and Dan has shown what a decent company can do. And by the way, I bet it pays off. Yeah. I bet workers feel ownership, they're going to work harder, they're going to feel part of the team, and I bet it, it, it becomes a good business model. A gamble market. worth taking. Caddy. Dan, how concerned are you about the impact that this might have on company profits one way or another? Have hmm. you done any kind of risk analysis Absolutely. Uh, on this calculation? And then the other thing is, is, have you heard from any other companies who might be interested in what you've just done? 
Absolutely. Actually, I've gotten, uh, I've become totally overwhelmed with emails from uh, client sparks who are business owners, small business owners, medium-sized business owners, that they're really proud of this. And the overwhelming message I've heard uh, from my clients are, you know, I might not be able to afford to do what you did, but I'm working to try to get there someday. And for me, there's a moral imperative that comes with leadership to do what's right for those that you're leading and those that you've made promises to. And for us, first and foremost, that's those independent businesses, you know, uh, <coughs> processing their credit cards for cheaper. But secondly, the, the entire team uh, I'm leading and I'm responsible partially to make sure that they succeed and continue to grow and improve. Dan Price, thank you very much. Let us know how it's going. We'd love to hear.